Question 7. Show that cos 2x over cos x plus x equals that. OK. So we do left-hand side. So the left-hand side is cos 2x over cos x plus sine x. This equals. Now then the cos 2x I know is worth cos squared x minus sine squared x. And I know that that's the different the top is the difference of two squares. So that gives me um, cos x plus sine x bracket cos x minus sine x close bracket all over cos x plus sine x. I'll put a bracket around there and make it a bit clearer. So this complete bracket will cancel that complete bracket. So that equals cos x minus sine x. The right hand side equals cos x minus sine x. Therefore cos 2x over cos x plus sine x is equal to cos x minus sine x. You do need a conclusion of one kind or another. Okay? You just can't leave it in midair. So that's the end of the first part. Right, part two. Show that that equals that, okay? So they're going to do left hand side. So left hand side is a half cos 2x minus sine 2x. Now that equals a half. Now instead of cos 2x, I could write cos squared x minus sine squared x. And instead of sine 2x, I can write 2 sine x cos x. Now, um, they've got no sine squared in what they've got, OK? So I'm now going to replace my my sine squared by 1 minus cos squared x. So this gives me a half bracket. I've still got cos squared x. That'll be to give me 2 cos squared x. Minus 1 minus 2 sine x cos x. So when I do a half of that, that will give me cos squared x. Do, do a half of the 2 sine, that will give me minus. I'll change it around just so it looks like what they've got cos x sine x and half of that one gives me minus a half on the end um, right hand so left hand side equals right hand side therefore a half cos 2x minus sine 2x is equal to cos squared x minus cos x sine x minus a half. OK, that finishes part three. Or part two, beg your pardon. OK, part B. Hence, otherwise, show that the equation cos x bracket cos 2 theta over cos theta plus sine equals a half. OK, now they've already, we've already know that the cos 2 theta business equals that cos x. So in place of this, I can write that. So this will give me cos theta. In place of this, I can write cos x minus sine. Um, we're doing theta, aren't we? Beg your pardon. OK, it has a consistent angle. Right. 
So this would be cos theta minus sine theta is equal to a half. If I multiply out, I shall get cos squared theta minus sine theta cos theta equals a half. If I double it to give it a half, I should get 2 cos squared theta um, minus 2 sine cos theta equals 1. If I bring the 1 over, I should get 2 cos squared theta minus 1 is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta. And now I know this I know the I know this is worth sine two theta and I know this is worth cos two theta, which is what they want the other way around, okay. Solve this equation, okay. So basically we've got sine two theta equals cos two theta. Divide both sides by cos. 2 theta. So this gives us tan 2 theta equals 1. This implies that 2 theta is equal to, it's 45 degrees in normal language, so in fact it's pi over 4. So it's pi over 4, but of course We've got C-A-S-T, that's a pi over 4. There'll be another one here, which is pi plus pi over 4. Now because we've got 2 theta, we need to go around again. So it's going to be 2 pi. So that this is pi over 4 to start off with. We then add another 2 pi to it. So that'll be plus pi over 4. And then we have this one here, pi plus, that's actually going to be 3 pi plus pi over 4. So 2 theta is equal to pi over 4 plus, oh sorry, and then this will be 5 pi over 4. This will be eight be nine pi over four. This will be thirteen pi over four. So theta is equal to pi over eight. Five pi over eight. Nine pi over eight. I don't know what that's there for. And thirteen pi over eight. Okay, that's the answer there. I'll just leave it room. Got a few seconds to go, so I know the answer is correct. Okay.